Um, so my piece, my first piece is uh, titled Midday. The day begins, like most days do, at the beginning. There is light, sometimes bright, sometimes grey. Cotton wool skies spray painted with rain that threatens but never comes. Journeys to and from in an endless exchange. Freedom for pay, it's all fair, so they say. And at 12 we all stop, breaking out pre-packaged questions that we made ourselves. What's for lunch? How will the meeting go? Will I make it home tonight? And I ask, is the life I am in the last option? There are other maps I could have drawn, another me that might have been born, and what lies would he tell? How much soul would he sell for a comfortable chair, and a desk, and a phone, and a reason not to go out there alone to try and do something? Some small thing that might make a difference. My life is too many middays, too many hopes turned sour, too many hours devoured by a rusty, unthinking machine that only sees the value in toil extracted, of effort contracted, to swap out your life for theirs. And in a timetable universe, you are worth only the minutes you accrue in exchange for a few tokens that you use to play the game over again tomorrow. No more, I say. No more heartbreak and tears. No more blind anger and fears disappearing between the relentless gears that grind away the beauty of us. We are worth more than this. And this day will be the day that I stand defiant, no longer compliant, no longer content to watch all the middays of my life slip away. I will stand. I will. And the rain threatens, but never comes. Thank you. And then we move on to midnight. It's midnight. The quiet darkness engulfs me. Shadows slowly creep, and I struggle to sleep. Too many nights I've lain awake as my nocturnal mind comes to life, plays out scene after scene of humiliating chapters of the past. Midnight, the witching hour, casting its spells on me, bewitched into believing that life isn't all that it seems, and these nightmares aren't just bad dreams. This is my life now. The dark night as black as these thoughts that haunt me, taunting me. I'll never be good enough. It's midnight. Just as pause once upon a midnight dreary, I'm anticipating a visitor. Not raven, but spirit. The ghosts of my ancestors past to tell me of their disappointment in me. That I should be stronger, not wallow in the melancholy. Be brave and live my life with valour. It's midnight. The world is asleep. The quiet slumber somewhat comforting. And I realise that I don't have to be afraid. I start to understand that it means no harm. It is a reflective time worthy of meditation and deep contemplation. The quiet is a gift. So is the darkness. Learning how to harness their powers will bring about change. I can breathe easily. Stop fearing the dark and the shadows it casts. Rest easy, knowing the spirits are proud of me, embracing this glorious midnight and all that it has to offer. Thank you. And now it's dawn. The long dark of the evening is done, and all the stars and moon that danced across the inkwell sky now hide from view. There may be romance in the night, but there lies a loneliness too, a heart stop terror that waits in all the places daylight hours deem safe. It is a braver soul than me who sees the dark and all the ancient things that call that place their home and does not turn away. But the dawn brings hope and burns away the shadow forms that stalk abandoned streets with light that calls forth birdsong and warms the breeze when hard-won sleep and restless dreams fade to gritty sand and brush away with memory. As every inch of land is touched by violet rays, I will lie awake and watch all the world around me stir and stretch 
and see the creeping blue and smile. Thank you. Dawn from a different perspective. The dawn chorus sings me gently to sleep. I feel safe with the protective sun peering through my curtains. When everyone else awakens to start their day, I can begin to rest. The stirring streets slowly come to life with early morning commuters, bringing with them the security of knowing that I'm not alone. It's not that the night time is lonely. For me, it is a chance to recharge, enjoying a solitude that daytime responsibilities deny. I lavish in the freedom of midnight. The ability to do whatever I wish and not have my mood dictated by that of others. There is beauty in the night, but it is not a time for sleep. The shadows are rife with intrusive thoughts, lurking in the darkness, lying in wait, ready to pounce, the moment that I try to drift off. But the dawn, it chases the terror away, and fear cannot survive its sunshine. Thank you.